So going back to your New York City, you said you yeah. went to New York and you kind of cut your teeth there. Yeah. Any good like freelance like experiences or stories, like crazy stuff that might have happened that really like shaped you or taught you something? Any good experiences there? I'm trying to think of something specific. But I mean, for overall, I, you know, met some lasting friends and connection in my early years there because mm -hmm. I got there in 2008 and it took me, I didn't get my really, my first real, at like my, my first job my production job where i was getting paid good money and i was doing what i wanted to do was a, as i got hired as a video editor for a sports website called bleacher report oh okay i know i say that now because they're so they're so damn popular but they're, when they're huge I, I was their second video editor they ever hired Holy so cow. when i when i think of bleacher like startup yeah they i got involved during their startup era so when i think bleacher report i think of the startup bleacher report i don't think of the huge they've become and, and yeah they're they're massive now so it was funny i had to catch myself how i said that but um so that was like in, at the end of 2011 so there was like three years where i was getting beat got at my computer desk sitting in front of my imac and then like this producer just comes up drops like a handful of memory cards on my desk it's like all right import this and see what you can do like literally no direction <laughs> it was just like and i'm looking at this footage I'm like all right i could did it, did it, did it. i just cut cutting some yeah it was like such an experimental era you know and age because we're just getting into this digital content you know the digital mm -hmm. content boom um it was you know still in the in you know the birth years but uh it was cool like yeah i started off doing a lot of short form just sports video type stuff uh, mm -hmm. i worked on this cool morning show where it was what was it called it was called br5 and basically what it was uh it makes me laugh because it's so funny if anyone who knows me during this time they would laugh just hearing that those <laughs> that br5 but uh it was a fun show it was basically there was five topics five sports stores i had to get in at like four or five a.m and it, they were written from like a almost like a daily show type of style like okay. so there was comedy but there was you know trending stories and a lot of the a lot of the um editing was either using video they shot or like using stock footage or stock photos and animating photos so my animation skills that i had built up doing that cartoon show were got put to the test and it was the like, were useful so i was doing a lot of photoshop cutting out and like you know you'd have like you know, little like South Park type, like or Terry Gilliam. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with Mon Monty Python animation type stuff. Okay. Um, and that was for like a, my first year on the job. And then I started doing more stuff. But then I did eventually a couple of years into the job, start doing human interest stories, documentaries. Like I, they, I got a shot to do like a documentary with this, uh, with a, one of the producers there. Mm -hmm. Um, it went really well. I edited it and they're like, we want to do more of these. And then that kind of evolved into me producing and shooting. Mm -hmm. And by the end of it, it was really cool. I was just primarily a sports human interest story, documentary producer, shooter, editor, and did a just lot. Just checking them all off yeah, right yeah. there. <laughs> just do the triple threat, we called it. The triple threat. Uh, but yeah, it was great, man. 